Hey y'all, how are you? Welcome back, Jackson M. Haskell here. So, a quick announcement is that the video coming after this on September 14th, we're actually talking about um, Tales from the Crypt Season 6, which is really cool. And um, that this video coming on Friday. Sorry, September 13th, which is also Friday the 13th. Talking about Friday 13th OG, released in 1980. I'm pleased to announce. Next, let's talk horror. Please, uh, um, I guess we'll be Tales from Crypt Season 6, but if we're talking about the TV movie wise, or any movie wise, really. Next Friday film will be September 22nd. Sorry, September 23rd, which will be part three, 2, which is a sequel, direct sequel to this one. But here we go. Friday the 13th, OG, released in 1980, did so well in box office, it was released May 9th, 1980, it was directed by Victor, sorry, directed by Sean S. Cunningham and written by Victor, uh, um, the film was, was like May 9th, 1980, did, I mean, only budget was 550000 and made $59.8 million, which is crazy to think about. So the story begins in 1958, and then it jumps to 1980, which is cool. Um, one of the things I like about this franchise, especially this, it's just really cool. Uh, pumped by the success of John Carpenter's Halloween from 78, Dr. Cunningham put an advertisement still the film in Variety. By Victor Miller in 1979, was so drafting the screenplay that it was filmed in New York. And a bidding war ensued with the finished film, ending with Paramount Pictures acquiring the film for domestic, aka US, distribution. And Warner Brothers got international distribution rights. This movie was a worldwide boss office success. Critical response was divided with some praise in the film cinematography and score. Hellers denied it for its depiction of graphic violence. Aside from being the most independent film of its kind to secure distribution rights, its boss offices has led to so many good movies, TV shows, and even a 2009 one in a crossover with Nightmare on Elm Street series. Let's talk about the director real quick. The director for this is Sean S. Cunningham. We've not seen him anything yet. House Words on Last House on the Left has a producer. And he also directed and created the House franchise, which I hope to cover sometime. If not this year, definitely in 2025. And the writer for this was Victor Miller. Victor Miller. This is only one thing I know him from. Um, him and Cunningham Hurst. I don't know if they still do, but they did for a long time. Had a big fight and lawsuit over who controlled the rights to Jason. Eventually it was one to Victor uh, Sean Cunningham. Which is cool. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to think what I was gonna say. So this film doesn't really start a villain, villain Jason Voorhees. It's more his mom. But yeah, we have a final girl in this. So the plot is in 1958, two camp counselors are murdered at Camp Crystal Lake in I believe New Jersey. This takes place. Uh, where an unseen assailant murders him in present day. Um, then we, we found out in 1957 there was a young boy who drowned at Camp Crystal, Crystal Lake. Later revealed to be Jason Voorhees. His mom was a killer in 1958. Because those two camp counselors are the ones who um, let Jason die on his watch. But yeah, let's talk about the creepy cast here. We got some kind of well known people. Yeah, we got Adrian King in her lead role in this. She plays Alice Hardy, the final girl. She was in the first two films. The cha final chapter, part three, was an archive footage, which is cool. AKA part, I believe that would have been part three. Um, or, sorry, part four. I get them all confused, but yeah. Who's also in Ghostbusters as an extra, which is really cool. Um, I don't think what else 
Fueled by or by what's eating Gilbert Grape or Space Group. Silent Moon Night, Bloody Night, Homecoming, which plays a stranger. Yeah, don't really know what else. She's rumored to appear in the Crystal Lake prequel TV show, which is cool. Next up, we got Harry Crosby. He plays Bill. Another person I don't believe we've seen anything. recognize him from anything but he was in Bing Crosby's Christmas shows and specials. That's it for him besides Friday the 13th which plays Bill. Jeanine Taylor plays Marcy. I don't know if he's seen her in anything yet besides this but uh, I don't know, just to make sure because you never know. She was in Crystal Lake Memories which is a complete history of Friday the 13th which is a documentary. Yep, nothing else I recognize her from. But you never know. So I, I always have to check. Lori Bartram plays Bar uh, Brenda, I guess. Oh, another person we have not seen. She passed away sadly in 2007. She was in Another, another World, which is a TV show at uh, Karen Campbell. Karen Campbell. She was also in House of Seven Corpses as Debbie, as uncredited, which is a horror film. Which is cool. Next person we definitely have seen before. And stuff, I'm pretty sure. We have the iconic actor Kevin Bacon. <laughs> Kevin Bacon's a really interesting actor. I don't know if we've seen him in anything yet, but. If not, we probably will. Um, but I just want to make sure because you know, some of these actors we have and have not for sure. Um, this is one of his earlier films. This is the fourth film. He plays Jack Burrell. Foot News, Waterworld, I believe he was in. National Point last one might be in Animal House. Tremors, Flat Irons, which are two big horror kind of movies. He was in For X Men First Class, where he plays Sebastian Shaw, we've got a Hellfire Club. He was in Toxic Adventure 2023, where he plays Bob Garbinger. He was in that game, where he plays John Labatt, which is cool. So we've not seen him in anything yet. But we probably will. If we ever cover X Men, for sure. Next up. Got Mark Nelson, he plays Ned. Another actor we've not seen, I believe. I just want to be sure, because you know, this was his first film. He plays Ned Rubenstein. He was in Chosen as a Fighting Student. I don't, we've not seen him in anything else. But he was in a lot of one off roles in Law and Order, which is cool. Also, it's been City Ravens Therapist for four episodes. We also have Robbie Morgan as Amy. Fun fact, one of the characters in I believe part two or three is named Robbie Morgan, who's a nurse. Might be part four, but yeah. And we have Peter Brewer as Steve Crispy, Kim Director. School, not seen him. Next up, we have Brock Rex Everhart. Um, he sadly passed away in 2000. Okay, so I haven't seen him before and stuff. Not for the last time. <laughs> um, a lot of musical stuff, but film wise, Superman, where he plays Death Sergeant in Superman's First Night. He was in Maurice in Beauty and the Beast from 1991. He played 
you know, to try to put in this movie. I don't know if we've seen him for anything else, but you never know. Yeah, nothing else. I was like, just checking. Next up, we got Ron Car Car uh, Carroll. Play Sergeant Tierney, a police officer. I don't know him from a lot of stuff. He was also in part two as Tierney. He was also in house two, second story in house as a police officer or deputy, which is cool. Next up, we got Walt Gomez as Crazy Ralph, who appears in part two. And soy. Sorry, part one and two. Um, he's also the narrator in Friday the 13th, part six, seven. Sorry, New Blood. Which is cool. I don't know if we've seen him in anything else, sadly. But, creating places he was in as the domestic, um, crazy Ralph Sanger, sadly passed away in 2004. Also, Hong Kong in 1976, Day of the Animals in 77. Cool. Willie Adams plays Barry, Deborah Pay S. Hayes plays Claudette, Sally Ann Golden plays Sandy, and Betsy Palmer. Um, he plays. This is for he's in this. Super iconic actress. Um. Famous for playing, like I said, Pamela Voorhees, mother of Jason. I don't know if we would have seen her in anything else. Because she's really famous, but she was also in part two. Pamela Voorhees. Bell Witch, the movie, as a Bell Witch. Um, she would have passed, sadly passed away, but we have not seen her. She passed away, sadly, in 2015. Um, but we've not seen anything else. Next up, yeah, last but not least, Ari Lehman. He plays Child Jason. Child Jason. Or he's. I don't know if we would have seen him in anything else. But let's just make sure. This would have been the second film where he plays young Jason or he's the baby kid version. Nope, nothing else. Lurker, um, but yeah, um, oh sorry, he also appears in Archive Footage in Part 2 and Friday the 13th Part 4 the Final Chapter, and, but yeah, um, and he, I like this end scene because he pops out of the boot, and I don't really know what else to say, uh, Friday the 13th, First one's such a good iconic movie, and I really hope y'all enjoy. Like I said, um, and that quick announcement was um, next Let's Talk Horror, I guess, would be on um, September 14th, which is Tales in the Crypt, which is season six, which is a video coming right after this, which is cool. Um, next Friday film will be September 23rd, where we're going to be talking about. Friday the 13th part 2 and I hope you all enjoy it. Thank you guys so much. Bye bye.